how to share the road with trains. Being a driver comes with its fair share of road challenges, but have you ever taken a moment to think about your experiences crossing railroad tracks? Did you know that in Canada, there are more than 20,000 highway rail grade crossings? Let's go over some key points to ensure you're well prepared for this distinct driving scenario. A highway rail grade crossing is quite unlike any regular intersection. Where else would you find a massive freight train weighing 12 million pounds and traveling at speeds of over 80 kilometers per hour crossing the path of your vehicle? In the unfortunate event of your car being hit by a freight train, the odds of a fatality are a staggering 20 times higher compared to a collision with another motor vehicle. This is due to the astonishing weight difference, around 4,000 to 1 between a freight train and your car. To put it in perspective, this weight ratio is equivalent to your car running over a simple soda can. Trains, unfortunately, can't make sudden stops like your car can. An average freight train may need to cover a kilometer or even more to come to a complete halt. To give you an idea, that's akin to the length of 18 football fields placed consecutively. Despite the imposing appearance of trains, they can be deceptively quiet and their speeds can be misleadingly slower than they truly are. This visual illusion sometimes leads to underestimating how quickly a train is approaching. So, how do you share the road safely with trains? Simple actions can make a world of difference. 1. Stay focused. Concentrate on the task of driving. Activities like texting, talking on the phone, or disregarding warning signs can be deadly distractions that make you four times more likely to be involved in an injury-causing collision. 2. Always be vigilant. Make it a habit to anticipate the presence of a train. Trains have the ability to travel on any track in any direction at any time. If multiple tracks are present, remain cautious even after the first train is passed as a second one might be on another track. 3. Respect red signals. When those red lights start flashing, that's your cue to stop. Wait for the train to pass and only proceed once the red lights have ceased flashing. Under no circumstances should you try to beat a train or go around lowered crossing gates. Not only is it extremely dangerous, but it's also against the law. 4. Learn the signs. Familiarize yourself with the various signs associated with railroad crossings. These include advanced warning signs, pavement markings, stop bars, cross buck signs, akin to a yield sign, and multiple track signs. Should your vehicle find itself stuck or stalled on a crossing, ensure everyone exits swiftly and puts as much distance between themselves and the tracks as possible. Notify both the railroad and the local police promptly. If there's a railroad emergency, seek out the railroad emergency notification sign near the crossing, which will guide you on who to contact for assistance. As a driver, it's crucial to guard against complacency and adhere to road rules, especially when it comes to safely navigating railroad tracks. Driving safely and confidently is all about making informed decisions.